this uh, <coughs> uh, series of videos, uh, we will be discussing the uh, sensor holders which are used either for the analog films or for the PSP plates. Either way, uh, they are the same because they are of the same thickness and of the same size. The uh, sensors here will be just like we discussed the uh, pre uh, pre previous uh, uh, videos. Uh, we will be dis dividing the, uh, the uh, discussion into the anterior, upper and lower, and the posterior teeth. And we will start with the upper anterior teeth. In the upper anterior teeth, what you are going to do uh, just like the same problem which we are, al are always having, the problem of the uh, clamp which interferes with the placement of the sensor and the sensor holder and the, uh, the pellet which uh, always we end up with a, a, a apex being cut off from the, uh, from the image. So to avoid this, what we are going to do is we will, you know, have some some uh, kind of uh, 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 tips that will help us in the uh, placement of the uh, of the uh, uh, <coughs> sensor. Uh, let's assume that we are doing um, an endo for this upper central incisor and the, uh, the reamer or the file or whatever uh, uh, instrument, into a canal instrument is projecting through this and you want to do, take a radiograph using the, uh, this sensor holder. These are endo bite uh, from Curl uh, and uh, you can see here that there is a, the bite block uh, allows for the uh, for the reamer to um, pass through, so that you will do your uh, uh, your uh, uh, radiograph, and we will place the film, of course, of the sensor all the way down, as you can see in here. Uh, make sure that when it, when it is placed, it is placed. Uh, uh, correctly. I mean, uh, it doesn't go to either way or it is, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, tilted or so. So we, uh, we place it in, 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 in the uh, uh, designated place and then we will do the radiograph. When we will do the radiograph, please, the, the, uh, the principle is uh, clear. Uh, we want a parallel tooth and uh, sensor. So, we ask your, you ask your patient to open, and then you place the sensor here. Okay. The reamer is extending through the um, uh, uh, the uh, opening, and we uh, we try to have this relationship, uh, the parallel line uh, between the tooth and the sensor. What happens in most on most of most cases is that we place the sensor this way, too close or to extending too much outwards. This will lessen or decrease the chances of capturing the apex of the tooth. the The idea here is that you ask your patient to open, and then you tilt you you incline the sensor holder and you push it as far as you can go inside the oral cavity, leaving the minimal amount of, uh, of the bite block extending outwards. The idea here, if you can see, see how far the film has gone inside the oral, uh, inside the pellet. This will definitely allow the, uh, uh, the, uh, the sensor to capture the whole image. So if we want to see it from the uh, from uh, up, I will show you how. Uh, what's the difference between the two? The idea is, I want all the uh, uh, this way. See, and then you ask the patient to bite. I want this relationship. If I extend this way and ask the patient to bite, the uh, apex will be cut off. So all the way back and then ask the patient to close okay 
If you feel that this is a bit rocky, then all what you need to do is that you will place a cutting roll on the, suppose you're working on the upper jaw, okay? You will place a cutter roll on the uh, opposing teeth. So, all the way back, and then, see, ask your patient to, excuse me, just give me a second, all the way back, okay? Then, before the patient closes, let the patient close on a cutter roll. And then you direct your beam accordingly. See, see how fit, fix it is now? One, and it doesn't slip because uh, uh, the saliva which is present here, it will uh, uh, it, 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 it make the, the, uh, all this gadget slippery and it might slip and move. Plus it is more comfortable for the patient. The patient does not have to close all the way uh, to stabilize the, uh, the uh, holder. He will or she will just uh, uh, press on this cutter roll which is present okay on the cutter roll which is present uh, and it will be like a soothing action for the uh, 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 for the patient and instead of biting on the uh, bite block as you can see in here and then all what you need to do is you direct your, your uh, uh, x-ray beam uh, along with the uh, bite uh, with the with the uh, with the ring of course, all anterior teeth are similar in, the, uh, in this manner, with the exception of the canine. The canine, because uh, it is located at the angle of the mandible, so if we are going to do a, a, a radiograph for the canine, we need to uh, make sure that we just uh, uh, place the uh, uh, sensor uh, uh, exactly behind the canine tooth. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, as you can see in here, I'm going to do the canine. So the same principle, see, all the way back, right away. And then you ask your patient to bite. If you place the this too, uh, too much anteriorly, <coughs> then you will, uh, uh, you will definitely mix the apex plus the uh, alignment will not be alignment will not be covered but if you see and then you ask your patient to close and then for further stability and comfort of the patient you will just place a cutter roll uh, in, uh, in, in between and then you will uh, uh, the, the reamer is extending through the um, uh, the opening and all what you need to do is you direct your beam to the uh, uh, on this area.